Ignite India Education. I'm Bhavna and today in this video we are going to be seeing 10 important idioms. You all know that in GAT there is a section which is English communication and where you get all those questions like idioms and phrases, you get articles, there are different kind of questions, fill up the sentences or pick up the correct word. So in this video I have found 10 idioms for you all so that we can discuss on it so that you know that how to learn it and what kind of idioms you need to learn. So let's go with the first one. Before learning your 10 idioms which are there in this video, I want to ask what is the difference between idioms and phrases? So we all usually use idioms and phrases in the same sentence but there is a huge difference between them. So idioms are those sentences, the one which you read doesn't seem the same meaning as it suggests. If I give you an example of an idiom, so that would be to beat around the bush. Nobody would beat around the bush. That doesn't mean what the sentence says. On the contrary, phrases are those sentences which are very normal. For example, you have been sleeping for a long time. Have been sleeping for a long time is a sentence which is a phrase. phrase. So let's learn what 10 idioms I have got for you. The first one would be bite a bullet. Bite a bullet means to do something very brave or to do something very difficult or unpleasant. Uh, the sentence could be, I hate going to the dentist but I'll just have to bite the bullet. So that's how you can use bite the bullet. The second phrase is break a leg. Break a leg means all the best. So the sentence usage could be Simran parents told Simran to break a leg before she went on the stage. The third idiom would be get your act together. That means work better or leave. So the sentence could be his boss has given him one month to get his act together. Or he loses his job. The next idiom would be miss the boat. That means it's too late. So the sentence could be there were tickets available for the match till last week but you just missed the boat by waiting till today. Our next idiom is to get bent out of shape. That means to be very upset. They stopped inviting him to the parties and he really got bent out of the shape about it. The next idiom would be add insult to injury. That means to make the situation worse. I failed my exam and to add insult to injury, I just missed my bus. Our next idiom would be cost an arm and a leg. That means very expensive. The sentence formation is this dress is very lovely but it cost me an arm and a leg. The next idiom would be the devil is in the details. That means a thing look good by a distance but when you get closer there are a lot of problems. The sentence formation could be you need to make sure that a lawyer reads all the contracts carefully. You know the devils are in the details. Our next idiom would be comparing apples to oranges. That means two things which cannot be compared. The sentence formation could be Mexican food cannot be compared to Italian food. It's just like comparing apples to oranges. The last idiom for us is having bigger fish to fry. That means having some important work to focus on than to things you are focusing on right now. The sentence formation could be I want Chris to help me with the project but he says he has some bigger fish to fry. So these were all the idioms for you all and I hope it was very helpful for you. So thank you so much. Start preparing and all the best. Thank you.